I believe I'm grabbing toys now. I did grab her a couple new toys the same day I got uh, was recording this video. Our new dog toys. I decided I'm going to put these on the top level because for some reason she likes to put her toys in the litter box if they're on the same level as her litter box if they're fuzzy. For some reason she thinks stuffed animals need to be in the litter box and that's gross. So these are going to go in the top level. So far she has not figured out that she can take them to the, down, the bottom level. So that first one was a little bunny. It's super soft and has crinkle ears. She loves crinkles. And then that second one there with the spider is a rope toy. And it doesn't squeak or anything, but I thought it was super cute. Halloween. I love Halloween. And here is Matilda. So she still is growing back here from where she had surgery. Um, for those who don't know, she did have a couple of uh, growths she had to have cut off. But she's totally healthy. She's all good. She's just a little naked in some spots. So I'm just putting her back in the cage so she can explore her new clean cage. And she's looking at me like, why am I in here? <laughs> now because I keep my cage in a corner, I do have to slide the cage out of the corner to get the doors to open up enough to get the pans out. You do have to kind of overextend the doors to get the pans out. Normally, it's fine though. And she's looking at me like, what's happening? Oh, I have food. <laughs> Take a look at her cage. As I said, she still needs more hammocks and ramp covers. I just don't have them finished in time for this video. But she was really overdue for that cage cleaning, and I did want to get a video of it. Toys here. The litter box is a kitten sized litter box in the back. I use a uh, pine pellet litter. I use, it's not actually a litter, it's just like the cat litter, but it's cheaper. It's actually horse bedding, but it's the same exact thing as like feline pine. A lot cheaper though. It's about 40 pounds for five million, I believe. Then I have a leftover box from Prey Fabric, I believe. Um, I like to put just big chunks of fabric in here for like little blankets you can play in. On our food, these will have um, covers on. I have to make like, covers for this set. This is a new set that I switched this week. Um, the bottom one I did have my assistant. I've been training a new assistant, so she did this one. It is a little bit, but it will shrink after it's been washed. his food on the ground because she spilt a bunch. So I'm working on cleaning that up too. So I got the cactus again on the other ones, just pink on the bottom and all the right covers will be pink. We'll put another chunk of fabric in here for her to play with. We have a hammock kind of back in there. Um, this is like a homemade toy you can make for them. It's, she absolutely loves water bottles and then I have a cat bell back there. Double pocket hammock. And she loves these sleep sacks, especially in the winter because they keep her nice and warm. And so dog toys again. Little dog toy. So yeah, that's everything for this um cage setup. All of the fleece stuff was made by Playful Fox and Co. Um, most of the dog toys came from Petco, the kitten litter box came from Petco, and then the cat toys and baby toys came from Walmart. Um, the food I use is a high quality cat food. Go back here, it's instinct. It's their ultimate protein and duck. Duck is better than chicken, but chicken works too. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some insight.